All right, let's try that again. Hello, everyone. And we're continuing with Save the Date, continuing to attempt to save Felicia from dying. Last time, we were on date 12, where Fle Felicia was hit by a meteor and, uh, and was killed. So I guess let's just start and see if we can if we can do any better this time round. Felicia, of course, calls us as she always calls us. Now, chat, I think our big decision here... I think our big decision is whether or not we either want to go back for burgers or if we want to say we can't go out to dinner. Because those seem to be the main things. Uh, when we did not go out to dinner, it led down to a different path this time, because we knew about the Hogwarts meeting spot. We did not mention the burger place, however, during that scene, so possibly there's some other information at the burger place that we could get. So I think those are going to be the main choices. And it seems that most of you are saying that you want to go to number one, you want to go to the burger place and see if we can just do anything else there. And we're doing that. Okay, go into the burger shack. Everything smells so good. We're having burgers. I don't think any of these choices actually mean anything. We know what happened to her dad. Come on. Come on, Felicia. Come on. She's asking about the future. We need her to duck. We know that's what she, that's what she needs to do. Otherwise, she's gonna die. There are gun. There's gunfire. There are shots. Okay. So, which one do we want to go with this time? I'm, we might have done most of these. Obviously, we've done Wizard at this point. Uh, we might want to keep going down that path. We want to go. might want to do something else. And people are still getting lag. As we're, it's happening every week, pretty much. It's pretty much. So much lag. Kind of getting erratic performance on Instagib these past few weeks. Okay, it looks like most of you are saying you want to reload, say that you want to reload from a saved game. She doesn't know what, the, what you're talking about, chat. Come on, why would she know that? We could say that we're making a joke, or let, let's just continue on this means of conversation, because obviously that's what, that's what we're doing, right? She says that sounds nice. All right, chat. Well, I mean, I, I think it's clear that we want to we want to try to do this test. Think of a word. Chat. Do we do we want her to tell us what the word is, or do we just want to try to guess what the word is? Yeah, I think you're saying number one. I think that you're getting what it is that we're trying to do here. Okay, the word is parastalsis. So now we have some information that we did not have before. Well, I think that we have to answer honestly. We just needed to know this for next time. I don't know if this would make any difference, chat. So, do we need to know this for the next time we reload our save? For the next time we have this conversation? Or it doesn't matter. She's about to die this time. Sorry, Felicia. Okay, you're saying number two. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what we can do, Felicia. Okay, I guess she's asking us to save. We can do that. We saved. No, we just did it. So chat, how do we answer to her? Do we just say that we're going to? We just did. Do we say that we changed our mind? Do we admit that we lied to her? Well, we're not lying to her. Or do we tell her that we're just waiting for the game over? Because we don't know where this conversation is going to lead. There might be more information that would be valuable to us in further runs. It looks like we're going to say, we're just waiting for the game over. She doesn't get what this means. She is obviously a casual.
Well, that was new. I don't believe we got that before. All right, so going to the burger place resulted in another death. No, no ninjas. That was the Thai place. This is the burger place. So she's died in a different way, and we now know the word, chat, now, don't we? Okay. Uh, let's just go right back up to that point and see what happens now if we ask her the same thing. Because we know what she's going to say now. And I think you probably would vote to go down that path anyway. Okay, here we are back again. We're going to ask her to think of a word. We know it's peristalsis. And she is very surprised that we answered that. It is pretty eerie. I do, I do agree with that. Okay, so we can try to explain things further. Hopefully try to f get something else out of this. Do we tell her that she's a character in a video game and we're trying to win? She keeps dying and getting a game over. It's very inconvenient to us, chat. Do we tell her that it's a computer simulation and we are, well, we're like Neo, really. She's not actually real. We're trying to figure out how to stop her from dying all the time. And, or she needs to try to help us to solve a puzzle. And I think the chat is going further and further behind at this point. Yeah, the lag is pretty impressive at this point. It started out real nice, uh, but it has increased in badness as we've gone on. It seems like the chat only started voting a few seconds ago. Okay, it looks like, so far, number five is winning. We do need her to help us solve a puzzle. And she does keep accusing us of being a crazy stalker. Whoops. We have been trying to figure out a way to keep her from accusing us of stalking her. It's really not what we're doing. Well, we probably should tell her the truth. We have been picking up things from other save load sessions. Yeah, it makes all it makes perfect sense. She understands. That is what happens when we give her this information. She does freak out thinking that we are we're doing something untoward. But she is willing to accept that something weird is happening right now. Okay, we could... Mm. So, I think we've done this before. I'm pretty sure that we have done this thing about the local Hogwarts pickup stop. We might as well try it again, see what happens. And the chat might have stopped entirely at this point. Well, I think we have seen this exact conversation before. Mm-hmm. Right, and once again, Felicia dies the same way. Right, and... Yeah, the chat is very confused as lag is very bad and seems to be bad in different ways for different people. So it's they're not really able to follow this at all. I think what I'm going to do is just stop the stream right now and restart it. And hopefully it's a little better. A little. I hope.
Okay, I mean, it seems good for me, so... Okay, it seems that people are saying it seems okay, so let's try to continue on. Acceptable lag. And isn't really the only thing we can hope in life is to get acceptable lag. I mean, it's great if you can say that you're having very little lag, but if the best, if you can say, hey, the lag was all right, then I think you're doing pretty okay in life. So let's, oh, but there's still skipping and still constant freezing. And those are not things you want out of life. It, things that, it seems that things are choppy for some people, but not choppy for others. Ring, ring. Felicia once again asking us to go on a date. What I want to do right now is see if we go uh, change in plans. We can't go out to dinner tonight to see if anything changes now. Let's go back to that one path that we were on. We were going to the local Hogwarts pickup stop. Just do this live at my house? Well, the lag would be optimal in that case. I think we can pretty much guarantee. Just, it's a new technique in streaming. Just avoid the streaming altogether and bring everyone to where you are, and then you get the best streaming experience. Okay, we're at the Hogwarts pickup stop. Here's Felicia. Let's see. I believe that we did say that everything here is a video game. She told us in an earlier playthrough. Right? We're trying to find a good ending. We're trying to see as much of this game as we can. She keeps dying in stupid ways and the game ends. Well, I think that the best thing we can say is that we're trying to find a good ending. We have not found one. I should download more RAM. It is true. I could also take her spear and you Landwalkers play right now, because that is the ad that we're getting right now in the chat. We're trying to find a good ending. She died in a lot of stupid ways. Like, I mean, one of them, she, she was shot, so... Oh, the la actually, the latest one we got was she died in a gas explosion. So we know that the game does tell us how many times it is. We said we were counting every time, so let's just say this time that the game gave us that number. We have not seen this one yet. So we're hopeful. Okay, actually, both of these things we did not get before. We could tell her to look over there at the Burger Shack, probably because of what we just did. But we're, we can also say that she should come over and sit on the other side of the bench because we know that a meteor is going to fall on her. I'm just going to take the initiative and choose that one, since we know what's going to happen. Let's, uh, let's let her in on it. Let's tell her that it's going to land right where she is. They are getting pretty weird, Felicia. I, don't, I cannot explain this myself. It seems that the chat has gotten to that decision, and they are very much in favor of moving her. This is new to us. She should be a bit on edge. We can't guarantee that she's made it out. And if she doesn't make it out, then neither can we. Okay, now we can go to the Thai place. We did not look at the burger place, but if this avoids uh, Felicia dying via meteor, then I would say it's worth it. Okay, yeah. Naruto and his crew killing us. Oh, hold on. Yep, there he is. Naruto's back. Killing us if we go to the Thai place. Uh, 
Uh, and there are the meteors. Okay. Let's get rid of Naruto because it's time to go to the taco place. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get an ad for Cthulhu. So, uh, there's nothing we can bring up for what's going to happen here as the building is covered in tentacles. Okay, here comes the meteor, but Felicia is now sitting on the other side. Yep. It's a good thing we told her to move. But what might happen next now? Because now this is now unfamiliar territory. Of course, it, it must have been aliens. What, uh, what else could it have been except aliens? Oh, don't tell us about it, Felicia. We did not make the game. She still died. Well, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot we could have done there. We really did not have any options about how we were supposed to avoid any of that happening. It does not seem that there is much of a way that we can save the date. Even, you know, no matter as much as we can, no matter what choices we make, no matter what we say to Felicia, it does not seem that anything is actually working here. But you know, it turns out, reading an interview with the creator of Save the Date, Chris Cornell, there really is no way of saving the date, it turns out. At least within the parameters of the game. If you want to save Felicia, you kind of have to take the story into your own hands. You kind of have to think outside the box, turns out. Let's just leave the ad for whatever that is on screen. I don't know what that is. Let's just leave that on screen as we continue to think outside the box. Use the quick save and quick load options. Those will actually not do anything. It'll just take us back to where we were, but it won't give us a good ending. I think we may have gotten all of the endings we can. At least all of the endings we can get if we, uh, if we go about this fairly. And that, that was just confusing. Let's just take that off the screen entirely. Let's see what it turns out we have to do here. The stream is skipping like crazy. Yeah, that seems to be the case. I'm really gonna have to do something about the about what how we stream. There's a bunch of dialogue we haven't seen yet. Oh, maybe so, but still, this is going to have to be the end of save the date because it has gone on for quite some time. And now that we've had so many endings, so many times Felicia has died, I think it's time. to take things into our own hands. Okay. So, do we want to be a hacker? Yes, we can. So as it turns out, if we go into the files of Save the Date, if we look through them, we can find something that says how to be a hacker. And there's a file that says how to be a hacker.rpy. We set the variable to true, and then what happens? Who could say what might happen when we do such a thing? It seems
seems that... Hold on, we should probably start over, since I did just change that. Don't use the hacker option yet? I'm sorry, but it's time to end. Save the date. Really has gone on for a while, but it is time to end. Alright, so you couldn't see what I was doing, but I did open up that file it mentioned, and I did change the hacker variable to true. So what would happen then, now that we're a hacker? Felicia rings us. Ring ring. Yeah, what are we doing tonight, Felicia? Where are we meeting? Well, we could have an awesome dinner in our floating sky castle because we are a hacker. It's something we can do. I think that does sound nice. Aw, oh, that's nice. Wow, we can fly too. We're, we are really like Neo. Six lotteries? Is that even legal? I, I don't know. I don't. She might have to give some of that back. Ah, a small island full of endangered wildlife. That's where Bully Demise washed up. Things are a little getting getting explained, I think. We're getting some resolution here in Save the Day. Exotic animals and Bengal tigers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is the same island. It is true. We have a great life because we are a hacker. The end! We're an awesome hacker! Yeah, that's... That's apparently the only good ending. In Save the Date. Right, so what I, so what, apparently if you want to read the interview with him, you can, but apparently the idea is that there really is no way to save the date. The only way to do it, honestly, is to, uh, to not go on the date, and then, you know, Felicia doesn't die in that one. That was date four. If you look at that, we didn't have a date. No, no, she died in that one. Oh, number five is where we did not have the date, and then Felicia lived. So that's the only way to save the date by not having a date at all. But it seems that the creator of the game, Chris Cornell, wanted there to be some way of being able to have some sort of, you know, best happy ending, which is the sort of thing you might expect from a video game. So he decided to let us have the traditional video gameish ending by letting us become a hacker and have the hacker ending. Kind of a weird ending. Kind of a weird way of going about it, how there really wasn't any way of uh, of resolving the situation, of beating the game in a more fair way. But that's apparently it. That saved the date. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was fun, though. I mean. It, it is a little bit disappointing to know that there really was no way that for us to puzzle our way into the best ending. That, as it turned out, the only way to save the date in the actual game was not to go on the date at all. I don't know if there's some kind of life lesson there, but maybe there is. Maybe. Yes, it was very romantic. We went on so many dates. So many. If you want a happy ending, that depends, on, of course, on where you stop the story. Is that a quote from the uh, interview, Bear Jazz? It might be. It might be. So yeah, and if you want to create your own ending, you can by thinking outside the box and just editing the files to make your own ending. But that's it for Save the Date. We'll be moving on to something else next week, I guess. But as for right now, we're done with our romance simulator, and we're going back to Virtue's Last Reward, which so far has not had a whole lot of romance. But maybe that'll change. Maybe some point. Be back in a few minutes.